now then, now then, now then. Oh, here he is, jungle, jungle. Oh, yeah. Welcome. Welcome. It's fantastic. Oh, oh, oh. It's a champ. Wait, the champ. I have to see how big you are. Excuse me. Just the sun there. Let's have. Thanks on the, the pecs and the lats. <laughs> I want you to know that I have a violent temper, but you have nothing to fear from me. <laughs> Thank you. Bob. <laughs> Good morning. Tracy. This is Tracy. This is the legendary Jimmy Savile. Hello. You don't have to tell me who you are. Oh, okay. I mean, oh, you're looking Hello. at a fan. Hello, darling. Oh, oh. Welcome. To I'd this crazy I'd, man. I'd, I'd, I'd like to marry all of you ladies for at least 24 hours. Uh, Preston, how are you? Lovely to meet you. How are you? Good to see Hello, you. Thanks. Oh, it's the big man. Hello. You have nothing to fear from me either. No, I have Neither is he, neither is you. <laughs> all nice right to meet then. You. Young Chantel. Hello. Hiya. <laughs> I know that many fellas love you, but they don't love you with the sincerity and tenderness that I do. <laughs> <laughs> and even. Uh, I, I always tell the truth, even when I'm lying. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, right. Now then, if I can tell you... <laughs> if I can tell you... <laughs> if I can tell you why I'm here. Uh, yeah, why are you here? Oh, it's He's for... Oh. Yeah. Are you going to fix oh, it yeah. for us? Yeah, Lord. <laughs> Jim, oh, how are you, sir? Oh, how are you? <laughs> now then. If I can tell you why I'm here. <laughs> tell us why you're here. Right. I am here as a guest, not a housemate. Oh, right. Thank you. A guest. Okay. And it occurred to me that maybe you, ladies and gentlemen, might want something fixing. Oh, absolutely. Anything in the world. Oh, I've got me my earring needs fixing. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> my, 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 my place are yours. What? My place are yours, right. I want to see my boyfriend. No, no. So I'm here to fix something for you, oh. and we'll see what it is today. And we'll maybe fix something for you tomorrow. Oh, so I'll be back oh. tomorrow. Brilliant, Joe. Yeah. 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 One twenty-nine p.m. Oh, really? Sir well, Jimmy well, and all the housemates yeah. are in the kitchen. Is so let, so let me tell you something. You, let me tell you something. In the flesh, you are. Even far prettier than you are on TV. Wow! Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I'm you. No. Hey, listen, I'm not even sleeping here, so I don't have to say things like that. <laughs> I mean, if I was sleeping here, I could be getting all sorts of blanks and everything. Right. Oh. It's Saturday you, morning, isn't it? You know, it's a real Saturday morning yeah. thing. You know who you sound like once you first started talking? I had a cold shiver down my back. Paul O'Grady? No. Who? John Lennon. Oh, okay. Oh. My friend John. Oh. Yeah, you know, I, right. I know, right. I know John since before he was when he was with the Quarrymen. I was with them before they were the Beatles, right? Because I had a club in Manchester, and they used to come across from Liverpool to work, and I didn't know because we were just a group. A year later, that was it, right? So obviously, the, whatever the Beatles did, they wanted to have me not too far away, right? Because they reckoned that brought luck to them. You were good luck, yeah. Right. They did a ten-day. Christmas show in London, and they said, uh, Jim will come and introduce us on stage. But the Beatles and myself had to get into the theatre at 1.30 in the afternoon, because otherwise the police couldn't guarantee us getting in. So we'd have all this hanging about business. So John is sitting next to me on a settee, and Paul is getting shaved, a mirror. And John says to Paul, uh, we're doing that record on Thursday. Paul says, yeah. And he said, uh, it's your turn to write it. He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, it's, it's Tuesday now. He said, yeah. Well, what are you going to write about? He says, I don't know. He said, well, think of something. So Paul up on and he said, I'll write about that book he's reading. And that's how paperback writer came to be written. Wow. 2.19 p.m. Has anybody ever been in the slammer before? <laughs> yes. Have you? Yeah. Have you? Yes. Have you, have you been in the slammer? Yeah. Four? For? A, 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 any length of time? A day? Two days? <coughs> Five Jesus. months. Ah, been, that was there, not, not here then. No, no, not no, here. No, that, that's right, because you have this wonderful uh, 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 history of, uh, uh, of... You have to be the number one 
medical person here to be here at all. But you've been for what you've done. You've, what you've been and what you've done and what you managed to escape from and all that stuff. Do you know where Rula had? No. Eh? She's been in for a long time. Yeah. Why Three was months? she in prison? Do you mind me asking? Um, Wacky well, backy. Somebody <laughs> said that they saw me smoking a naughty cigarette. This was a long, long time well, ago. So he was in prison? Mm. Not what? in this country, though. No. What about you, George? I was in for one day. I got arrested outside the nuclear weapons base at Fraz Lane for a sit-down outside the base <laughs> trying to block the base for the day. Yeah. One day was have you? Have you? No, but this is the first time I've been in the Nick. <laughs> 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 Has anybody here not seen Michael's television shows? Has, has anybody I not? Uh, let me tell you. Unbelievable. <laughs> he broke the mould. He broke the mould. And he would go on and people instinctively liked him. If you go on stage and you're going to make somebody laugh, you will do something. You'll tell jokes or you'll, like Tommy, to make things go wrong. He didn't do nothing out of it. He just went on stage. For some inexplicable reason, everybody went. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. he had to be the laziest performer in the world because he didn't do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he just sort of gambled up and down, and all of a sudden, he'd get the ump to somebody in the audience and say, and this is just for millions of people to say, you weren't laughing. Was, yeah, oh, no, no, you won't. Not when you're in here if you don't laugh. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> and he used to manhandle them out of the thing and swing them. <laughs> and it was for real. He used to swing them out and he'd pull them out. I never did anything. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's just placating the poor sod outside and saying, well, I'm very sorry, it's like that, you know what I mean? Uh, here, for 50 quid there, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it, it was unreal, unreal. Yeah, but it did it in such a way that it was totally captivating. Uh, and uh, now, if he was here, I couldn't say that, but he's a lookalike, so I can say this. <laughs> 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 but, uh, yeah, but there you go. Say hello. Absolutely right. 3.10 p.m. Most of the housemates are at the dining table. Michael is in the diary room. What do you think about Sir Jimmy Savile coming to the Big Brother house? Uh, when he came in, I was like, oh, you know, I was just blown away because it was him, and he never lets you down. Big Brother, could you fix it, jungle, 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 and right out there. Uh, and uh, I didn't think seeing Jim and Jim talking... And, and then being so personal uh, and so kind to me from a person that's held by the establishment and, uh, and what he's done. Like I said, <laughs> so, oh dear. I was like the well up in there, and uh, I thought, oh, God, here we go. I thought I'd had a few days without it, and uh, it just gets better in here, doesn't it? Maybe it gets better before it gets worse. It gets worse before it gets better. I don't know. I just want to thank you for uh, enabling me to have a chance to really perfect my Jimmy Savile, even though I only use it privately. I'd love a cigarette, but... We'll cope, I suppose. Six fourteen p.m. Sir Jimmy has asked all the housemates to write him a letter, <laughs> detailing one wish they would like him to fix. What if it's just impossible? <laughs> no, no, it's not going to happen, then, is it? What if there's just? I mean, what if it's too much? I have so many things that need to be fixed. I don't know. Your nose? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, could you please fix my nose? I'm stuck. I get, I don't know. I see everybody You're... writing and I'm, I haven't written anything. I'm panicking. Have you yeah. written anything, Pate? I asked for £700,000 right now. <laughs> no, I asked for more modest things. I can't be bothered. I just want to get out of here. <laughs> but I don't think that's realistic, is it? A shopping spree at Vivian Westwood. Done that. I want to get out and have a shopping stream of boyfriend's underwear. <laughs> 
See, I'll just get too deep with I it. I should have asked for 5,000 cigarettes, shouldn't I? But That's what I was thinking. I don't think they'll get, I don't think get it. Jimmy. And don't forget, ladies, that I'm available most weekends for home visits. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you said. Well, what if... I mean, I don't know... If, what if I get too deep with it? I mean, there's so many things that need to be fixed with me. I don't know which one to start with. I told you it wasn't easy, didn't I? Yeah, it's very I difficult. Did I tell, you, it, did I tell you it wasn't easy? <laughs> it's huh? very hard. I had a... Oh! Oh! No! It's very hard. <laughs> Oh. It's my makeup! <laughs> <laughs> ah, my makeup! <laughs> you'll definitely get, you'll, you'll get punished now. <laughs> you'll get punished now. Ah. Jim, look at you Doesn't now. matter, doesn't matter. Okay. He'll get punished, don't worry. Okay. I'll get punished. Yes, for <laughs> attacking her and stealing she her soul. Me. Like, she attacked me. I like my makeup. Where is it? Well, <laughs> Seven or five p.m. Sir Jimmy has collected all the housemates' letters. He'll return to the house tomorrow to fix it for all of the housemates. Champ. All right. What a man, see you, brother. The best girl. The best. I should have you. Oh, I can't stand any more of this. <laughs> I must go round again. <laughs> <laughs> and again, <laughs> Mrs. Winder. Bloody Mrs. Wright. Oh, I'll get my own back. Don't worry. I'll get my own back. Bye, see you tomorrow. All right, then. Good morning. Oh, I'm shattered. Oh. And all that's without Viagra. <laughs> just open the door. Yes. Bye, Jimmy. Thank you. Thank you, Jimmy. Just in case you forget. I'm five foot ten, quite slim with a shock of life's hair, OK? <laughs> so if anybody comes through the door that doesn't look like that, don't take this off. Watch your step there. Have a lovely evening. Oh. 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 Oh.